Good day ladies and gents, this video is going to be about the new area in Woods, which is right next to the, um, well, old uh, station. You go to the right side, you cross under the bridge, under the trains, you know what it's all about. So, long story short, in my first raid, I'm going to show you which areas that you can loot. Uh, pay attention, because some of the areas might not be as obvious as they might seem. And uh, I'll take you through the rest uh, of the raids. I don't want it to be an extremely long video. I don't want it to be boring. So we're going to be doing 10 raids and I will probably average the amount of income um, that we get from each of the raids. And uh, yeah, show you how much money you can make from this. So make sure you, you give this video a thumbs up and uh, enjoy it. Now wait till the zombies are gone. Oh, PRS. No, I don't, I don't need PRS. Thanks. Oh, shit. All right. So going through here is not an option. All right. I remember that. But to be fair, is if the sniper misses the first shot all the time, it's no biggie. You've made the zombies lead, leave, you've killed 500 yesterday, holy moly, well done buddy. That's a big ass number. In the summer you always want to go bald, but my girlfriend doesn't like that at all. Yeah, don't, don't, don't you like your hair either? Repot, teapot near back. Yep, thank you. And I'm actually starting to worry that somebody is going to be camping this place. <laughs> Ratchet. We take those. Mm, Tetris. And this place, this place is popping. This area is like top tier. Hmm. I don't remember if those kits are still expensive, but let's take one. As long as I have space. Alcatraz. Is the circle in the new bunker also good? Has it been nerfed? Well, you can find some random keys in there and pumpkins while they're spawning, but it has been nerfed, yeah. It used to spawn good keys, now the keys are meh, kinda. You can still find a good key, but the chances of you finding a good key... Kinda slim. Kinda slim, buddy.
What map is this? This is Woods. This is Woods, brother. You got two marked keys right when it came out. Oh boy. We always get nerfed, chat. The day we discover new places, the day we discover places would loot BG nerf it. God damn. God damn. We're being punished for discovering new things. This is not how the world should be, chat. If you're eager to discover new things, you should be rewarded for that, not punished. Good morning, Jay. No, 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 no. What a timing, chat. If I was a little bit early or a little bit late. Level 15 now. Wow. Man's got nothing. By my estimation, by calculating all the profits from all of the items, I made roughly 1.2 million this raid, which is a uh, pretty decent amount of money, I would say. Second raid was also kind of juicy as the first one. I think the Tetrises do pay a lot these days. Since the Bitcoin went up in um, price in real life, so is happening to it in Tarkov. And Tetrises are being currently sold for around 400k, so finding a Tetris literally means uh, you're profiting like half a mil. So yeah, um, in this raid I made 1.3 million rubles, which is a little bit more than in the previous raid, and we'll take that as a win. In the third raid, I didn't really find any extremely expensive small items like a Tetris or a Ledex. Uh, however, I did manage to find a pumpkin, and pumpkins go quite well on the flea. I think you can sell it for around 200k, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Or you can just gamble with it and open it up. Some of the pumpkins can have uh, GPUs and Intel folders, which will <laughs> give you a decent buck. So yeah, if you do find pumpkins, it's up to you if you want to gamble with them. Also, there is a small bug, small abuse, like if you wishlist some of the items, if you wishlist GPUs, and uh, there is a GPU inside the pumpkin, your pumpkin will also be highlighted as a wishlisted item. So yeah, there is a small trick that you can utilize if you really want to. In my fourth rate, I didn't really make much money. I think I averaged around 630k this rate. Uh, but Chad told me that, well, to be fair, this is what this was one of my last raids, but in the editing, this is my fourth raid. And uh, Chad told me that you can actually run on top of the train back, you don't have to crawl. So I was willing to risk it, and uh, this is how it turned out. I guess you were right. How the hell you get down, though? Did you just jump? Didn't even break the legs. Okay, maybe. Th All right. To be fair, nothing new, nothing extremely cool is gonna happen within the next few raids. So I'm gonna sum it up for you. Um, I kept on running the same routes. Well, to be fair, I think I showed the best route within my first few raids, and my last raids actually show me looting while uh, discovering the map at the same time. So yeah, my first few raids are definitely the best ones. But either way. In my 5th run I got 820k, in my 6th one I got 720 in my 7th I got 840k, in my 8th one I got 1.1 million, I think I got extremely lucky because I got 2 found and raid intel folders from one of proper toilets, uh, in the ninth raid I got 610k and in my 10th raid I got 920k. On the average I was making 935k per run, but due to the fact that my first few raids that I've shown you in the video are my best ones, that's when I fully learned the map, I, ca I found a couple of new spots of which you can loot for good items. I'm pretty sure if you run all the good spots in this location, you can make 1 million on average. 
but this is about it here are the stats let me know down in the comments below if you're running this map if you are excited to try it out or maybe you're camping the train i don't know and yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you still haven't given it a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one have a wonderful rest of your day ladies and gents bye bye